This is our fourth video in a series of five on vectors. In this video, we look at dot or scalar product of two vectors. So you also need to be able to produce the dot product of two supplied vectors under exam conditions. The dot product or scalar product of two vectors is found by multiplying each component of the first vector by each matching component of the second vector and adding all the results together. So let's work through an example. We'll start with two initial vectors, P equaling 7, 15 and Q equaling 16 and 5. We'll put these two vectors into the expression. Now the dot symbol in the middle there in this expression means to multiply together or produce the dot product of. First, we multiply the first value from vector P by the first value from vector Q. So that's 7 times 16, which is 112. Next, we multiply the second value from vector P by the second value of vector Q. So that's 15 times 5 or 75. Finally, we add the two results together, giving us 187. A common mistake candidates often make is believing the dot or scalar product of two vectors can be plotted on the graph with the original vectors. The dot product of two vectors is a single number, it's not a vector, and of course you can't plot a single number on a graph. The dot product of two vectors is useful, however, in other ways. And we'll look at this in the final video of this topic. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How do you calculate the dot or scalar product of two vectors?